What's going on everyone and welcome back to another gameplay series. Uh, this is SimCity and it's not a new game by any means. We've had it for a long, long while now. But uh, it's always been a little enjoyable so we're going to try to play this with some yeah, a little unique area with a very large map. Because we want multiple cities, of course. That's the best way to do it. It says it allows seven cities, one great work. That's not good enough. We want um, Titan Gorge, I think. Yeah, 16 cities and four great works. Sounds good to me. And we're going to name it. Well, Angia. Because that's the way to do it. We're not doing sandbox mode. We're going to make it so that we have to research everything or rather work for it. Um, let's choose a good spot near a great wonder. Yeah, I'm thinking this spot. It has no oil, but it has lots of ore and coal. And it also has good wind speed for wind power. I'm good with that. Let's play. So, if you guys aren't aware with what Sim City is, is, basically you build a city and try to make it last as long as possible. Random events will occur that will pretty much usually destroy your city. Um, there's tornadoes and all type of other things that can go on, and you have to connect it to this highway here. Okay. I don't know what the heck that is, but okay. I knew that. I gotta get used to the controls again here. <laughs> uh, what? I didn't download any of this stuff, guys. It's just being weird here. <laughs> oh, come on. Let me play already. That was apparently all these free updates since, like, a long time ago. Since I last played it. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta make a road come off of this. We get that right there. Now, that's only a single wide road, so, um... It can't become this high density streetcar avenue. I, I'm pretty sure it can't become that. And so we're basically just gonna make ourselves a little city right there. Little zones. And we can fill in the whole area right there like that. And that. And basically this little green zone once the game has started, all these little cars are going to move in here as you see here, and they're going to start building their homes. As many as they like. But uh, people always need somewhere to shop, right? So they have a shop zone right next to their home. Now these icons are flashing because of saying hey, we need water, uh, we need electricity, and they need a place to dump their uh, sewage. So let's go and find that. Uh, we have a coal power plant. Uh, we do have enough money for that, but that's a big loss on the money there. Um, yeah, we can actually put our own disasters in there too. And make the disasters happen like in all SimCity games. And that's kind of cool. Alright, so we gotta figure out all this stuff. It changes whenever I do that because, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff going on there. Okay. Now they have their own little plaza. That's cool. I actually want to change that zone around these to be uh, shops. But I can't. It's not letting me. Dang it. Oh well. 
That's fine, they can live next to it. That's fine. There's like a little kid running around on it, laughing like crazy. Yes, Weebadoo. Uh, speak Simish. Alright, so we're gonna put this all the way out here, and it's gonna automatically generate power by using the wind along this little red lines. That's a lot of houses already. So our population is 294, and it's only gonna go up from here. And this is hiring, so until it has enough workers, it's not going to run. But I think it, yeah, there we go. Now it's gonna just light them up. And our first city is functioning. But they need a water tower. So I'll put it way out here, as far away from the city as I can. And it's gonna automatically start pumping water in today. Now we do have a water pollution level, so if it's high, people are start gonna start getting sick and all that. We don't want them to be sick. Um, so our town hall needs to be isolated because it's on its own. You want to try to build your communities as tight knit as possible. Otherwise, they're going to start going all over the place and it gets messy really, really quick. Oops. I forgot how to delete them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, that's fine. So holding down shift will make it go on a straight line. I should have been holding down shift that entire time, but oh well, I didn't. And we're going to put the town hall up here. Maybe uh, it's got to go right about here because we got to expand on it, and uh, it will expand or it'll upgrade once we hit 5,000 citizens. We're at 350 already. That's crazy. Uh, we can name our city now. So we're going to name it Kitten. <laughs> because I like silly names, so it works. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just connect this road right here with a dirt road. There we go. Yeah, it looks a little funny, but it doesn't matter. Dirt roads aren't going to be used as much as the actual streets anyway. And we can upgrade these roads at any point in time. So we're actually above where we need for water and power. That's good. Uh, we do not have a sewage system yet. So let's dump our sewage over here. No, never mind. Let's buy the railroad. We'll actually need that later. Um, down here sounds good right around here so we gotta build a road to it dirt road to it you don't need to uh, make this one all fancy because it's just for the sewage so uh, yeah and because the wind is going down, the smell of the sewage will go down with it, so that's always good. Alright, how much power is that taking from us? Not much. I think we're still good. He's saying we are low on water. That's How are we low on water, dude? We got plenty of water. Also, if we purposely built a... Uh, water down here by this sewage it would pollute the water it's kind of fun to mess with sometimes and it switched to the pollution map
And you can actually go in here and edit each individual building with uh, special building add-ons. The freeze dump zones and stuff like that. Okay. So you can have up to eight total dump zones. But uh, we don't have enough money for all that. So we're going to go back out. Get rid of that. Why is it glowing blue? Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, what? That's weird. This is our region view. Okay. Our city's all good. And our people seem pretty happy here. I mean, they got a big smiley face there. I'm going to go ahead and make it full speed. So we can get, uh, we're losing money like crazy now. Uh, this is how we do it, that's right. We can go ahead and add a gambling place to this, I'm sure. Yeah, we need more commercial buildings, that's right. That's how we raise our money. I forgot all about that. This is what happens when you don't play the game for a very long time. There we go, now I should have a lot more commercial buildings coming in here and paying us. And each building looks different too. So it's pretty unique like that. That's all nice and it actually shows the characters interacting with everything. Now I wish the signs would actually put something up there. This building here just upgraded. So it just got better and more expensive, so it pays us more money. And we're going to increase our taxes to 12%. They're not going to care too much. And it's going to give us our money back. So that's good. We're going to start making money like crazy now. All good. And time just flies by here. We can actually see what they named them. Uh, this one was Extrodo Gas. And it'll tell you what their uh, land value is, basically how rich it is, and that determines how much money they're paying you for owning the lot. And the uh, density and controls how much cr uh, traffic is through there, and so the higher density you'll have to upgrade the road. And they won't go higher density until you upgrade the road. But with higher density also comes higher risk. So just be aware of that. And the houses actually pay little bits of rent as well, so. And I like to have uh, circles sometimes. If I can make them. It's too sharp. Okay, so it doesn't want me to do it like that. So I'll put it there, and then I'll make a round one off of that. See? All cool. And so we got our own little round, high-end circle place with really high-end stuff. don't have enough money to upgrade it yet though, but uh, we are going to add zones. Okay. And the whole inner circle will be homes. And this outer circle here will also be homes. This will be like the high end rich people area. So they'll quickly fill that up with no problem. And we're closing in on 400 citizens. Past it. 
going on 500 now. That's filling up quick. And as you see, the more people we get, the more money we get per hour. So it's basically just a building game where you just build and they fill in where you want to build. But uh, another part of this, uh, because we need it, we're going to make another dirt road. Oh, not a circle dirt road. Straight line. And then we're going to make this area industrial. Because the industrial area will actually generate even more money. Alright. Now they make some pretty big factories, so it's kind of not going to be too many industrial things. But uh, at the same time, it's not going to matter too much. Taxes are too dang high. Consider lowering. I'm not going to lower them. They're fine. See, they're happy. And I think we've unlocked gambling. Yes, we did. So the gambling is actually how you get money super fast, super quick, but it also invites a lot of crime. And this guy wants us to build trash. So he wants to throw a giant block party all night. And uh, they may toss a bit of garbage during the party. But you don't mind, right? Nah, we'll do it. Let's do it. I got garbage trucks. I'm good with that. Go collect them garbage trucks. Let's just edit this and add a couple more. There we go. Now we have a lot of garbage trucks. That was pretty expensive though. But I'm okay with that. They'll go collect all that garbage pretty quick. Collect it! They're not collecting any garbage. Look at all those little people walking around. We'll have to add buses and stuff soon enough as well so that they can actually get around. And a school would probably be nice too. So we're making a thousand two hundred uh, simoleons an hour. It's good money there. Those factories though, we gotta be careful with that because if they catch on fire it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, he's still complaining about taxes. Dude, I don't care about your taxes. Don't you get it? We'll just fill that area in. With commercial stuff. There we go. Make us more money. More power. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the first episode of our uh, SimCity let's play uh, hope you guys are enjoying us and if you guys have this game too you can join in on our world I'm fine with that just look up uh, Valencia or whatever I called it and then you can live in one of these other zones here and kind of help us out or go against us and make sure to siphon all of our power and stuff that, that's fine I don't care <laughs> and you guys can uh, do what you want um, it should be open invite, so anybody should be able to join pretty easily. And uh, so as always, guys, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you when I see you.